thriving family enterprises strive to keep going and desire for the next generation to continue its glory. But certain dilemmas arise once you've made the decision to pass on the baton to them. What hurdles does a family business succession face as they unfold a new chapter? There is nepotism, sibling rivalry, a less than enthusiastic second or third generation who would rather not have anything to do with the business, competition for the family's resources or scheming in-laws. Perhaps the father has passed on to you the leadership role, but he is still the one calling the shot. Suppose the second generation considers hiring non-family members in the fold. Can they trust them? Will these new talents make or break the business? My name is John Ramos, and I'm the convener of the Family Enterprise Excellence Conference on June 25 and 26. Wouldn't you be happy to discover the keys to solving these business issues in the conference? All the wisdom and the answers that you are looking for are possibly right here. You can hear the stories of world-renowned designers such as Monique Lodier, known to have made her mark in Hollywood, and Kenneth Cobonpue, who is known globally for his unique twist on furniture design. Actually, both Monique and Kenneth stem from the family business roots that prepare and made them to achieve global entrepreneurial success. What sustains a family enterprise growing through the years? Or centuries even? You can hear all about it from Borja Raventus, who hails from Spain, whose family business is one of the world's oldest and longest running. These are just the snippets of more than 20 keynote speakers who will help you discover more opportunities like the success story of Joey Garcia, who reinvented the family business model into an agile, and resilient enterprise. All of these and more await you in the conference. You need to build on relationships. You need to put focus on the family. Because there was a lot uh, more involved when you're working with family than just pure professionalism. When the time comes, we need them, the challenges that we'll be faced with in family conflicts and how it transcends to the next generations. He was able to bridge the gap so that each generation understand each other. Balance it between the business side and the family side. We know that we can have a positive impact. So we wanted to bring people in who could help us be more professional. As of now, you are the prime over the power of your companies. I am so proud to be part of a family business culture. I don't think there's any other conference I've attended that is similar to this one. Discover for yourself how these distinguished family business leaders and movers and shakers, when gathered together, can ignite further the fire within us to steer our respective economies to a more resilient, and sustainable new world.